Hello everyone, today I will introduce how to display multiple language use Unicode. First, I will demonstrate the final effect for you. By sending command, the given screen will display Korean, Arabic, and Hindi. Open SSCOM and select the correct serial port, board read, and check the hex display. The first command is to display the Korean characters encoded in Unicode as UAC8B on the given screen. Copy this command, click send to see that the corresponding Korean character is displayed on the screen. Next, copy the second command, click send to see the screen displays the Arabic character encoded as U0626 in Unicode. Copy the third command, click send to see that the Indian character encoded in Unicode as U092D displayed on the screen. Now comes the tutorial part. First, let's look at the Unicode encoding range document which shows all the characters and symbols of the words languages that can be displayed using the Unicode U40 to U4F's encoding range. Open the Unicode Common Encoding Ranges document, which lists some of the more common encoding ranges we use, such as the Korean, Arabic, and Hindi encoding ranges we will use in this tutorial. Next, open the DIGA software, create a new project, select the appropriate resolution, and import background image we have prepared. Then open the font generator software. Here, we will generate a Korean font file. So according to the Unicode Common Encoding Ranges document, the font range is modified to UAC20 to UD7AF. Font coding is selected as Unicode. Character is set as UAC8B. Set the number of the dots to 24 multiplies 24. This is the size of the character canvas. You can adjust the width and the height of the character by the scale. You can adjust the distance of the characters from the canvas border by the shift. You can also set the size of the character font. Click Generate. The font name is set to 15K2424, where K stands for Korean and 2424 stands for the dot matrix size. It is easy to remember. Next, let's generate a Arabic font file. Set the font range to U0620s to U06FF and the character to U0626. Adjust the parameters according to the display effect. Click Generate and name it 19A 2424. The rules for naming numbers will be described in more detail later. Next, we will generate the Hindi font file. Set the font range to U0. 900 to U097F and the character to U092D. Adjust the parameters according to the display. Click 
click on generate and name it 63H2424. As you can see, we have successfully generated three font files. The next step is to explain how to determine the naming of the font file using the DMG 10768C080030 WTC as an example. The memory of this screen is 16 MB no flash which is divided to 64 spaces, each of which can hold 256 KB of content. The names represent the location in North Flash that the file occupies. Generally speaking, 0 to 11 is the zero font library, 12 is the input methods, 13 and 14 are the touch and display configuration files, 22 is the initialization file, which basically does not require further changes, 32 is the background ICL file, the name of which can be altered by modifying the CFG file. The font files generated are number 19, 15, and 63. Let's take number 15 as an example and calculate the amount of space occupied by it. The size of file 15 is 786 KB, which means that it occupies the four spaces 15, 16, 17, and 18. So the second generated font file can be named as 19. Other files can be named according to this rule. Now use Degas to create the project. Select the text display control. Modify VP to 1000. Set encoding mode as Unicode. Set text length to 10. Leave font 0 unchanged, while font 1 to 15. Set the number of dots on the X and Y axis to corresponding 24 multiplies 24. The initial value is what is displayed when the screen is light at the beginning and should be cleared here. Copy the control and modify the color of the text display. Set the VP of the second control to 1010 and set the address of the font 1 to 19. Make another copy and set its VP to 1020 and change font 1 to 63. Click Degas to generate the background image file at 32 ICL. Click Save and Generate. Download the generated font file together with the configuration files to the screen for burning operation. Insert the SD card into the card slot. Power it up. Wait until the burning is completed. And then pull out the SD card and power it up again. The project has been successfully burned into the screen. This step can also be done using the T5L download function of the gas. Note that the last digit of the command for the Unicode font that does not start from U4 zeros. You need to subtract the starting code when writing the command to get the correct character code. That's all. Thank you for watching.